Hey y'all, this is Love Biscuit, and I'm playing Star Wars The Old Republic as an Inquisitor. Um, we just got our holocron that we had to go into this monster infested tomb to get while Fawn, the Dingleberry, is sitting in the nice, safe little library. Um, yeah, I don't know what I was doing there. Anyways, so, long run there, long run back, and of course I'm sharing it with you all. Um, I hang out with this group. Um, sometimes, and I was talking to somebody about Star Wars, and he felt like Star Wars doesn't have anything to offer. I wish that, you know, I could PvP in different zones, and um, I have everything, there's no content, yada yada yada. I think that's the first time I've ever said yada yada yada, but you guys got it. And I was like, okay, so number one, why are you on an RP server? If you guys are totally interested in the PvP, do not roll on a PvE or an RP server. If you're into the PvP, hardcore, roll on a PvP server. You, from what I hear, as I am not hardcore into the PvP, I do like it. I do enjoy PvP and I have tons of fun with it and I should have waited for my health to go up before fighting this. Anyways, so I like PvP. I I really love PvE. PvE is where I really love to be. So, um, I do have a tune on an RP server. I don't exactly RP. Um, I did a little in AOC, or Age of Conan, for this, those of you who don't know it, and now my tongue's all crazy. But, um, I am not really into it, but I have some friends that are, so I have a tune there. And, um... Uh, and then I mostly just like PvE. Like this right here is a PvE server. Um, I plan on doing some PvP and totally showing you guys it. Um, I actually have not done any PvP in Star Wars. But I'm really looking forward to it as an Inquisitor. Um, I think it's going to be fun, the whole lightning thing. It's going to be a blast. So I'm looking forward to it and I plan on frapping that for you guys and showing it. Um, but yeah, so... He's complaining that, you know, he wants to do all this PvP stuff and that there's no content. But you want to know what? There is tons of content. Um, Endgame, there are tons of hard modes, and I believe there's three raids. I have not made it to Endgame. I've had so much fun just leveling that I really haven't gotten there yet. So eventually, <laughs> I will get to the Endgame, but I'm in no rush. I'm having a blast. Um, he leveled straight up to 50 as fast as he could. Did all the PvP that he could, did some hard modes, and I guess got some gear, and he says that he's all geared out, but you, you know what, there's more gear to be had, he doesn't even have the best stuff. Um, and he's complaining mostly about the PvP, he wants to be able to go to each land, or each planet, and, you know, PvP the opposite factions, you know. Um, so, I, I couldn't understand why he rolled on an RP server, because he's not even... Um, the people that we hang out with are not even on the um, Empire side. They're on the Republic. And he rolled an Empire, so for me it just made no sense why he came to an RP server at all when he's not even hanging Lord. out with everybody. If you are into sense. PvP, you want to go to the other zones, you want to PvP, hit up the PvP server. If you want to PvP on, you know, when you want to, go to a PvE server, you know, because that's more... Um, more for you, and I really enjoy the PvE. I'm more of an RPGer. Um, MMOs are still sort of new to me, but I really enjoy them. And this, I keep calling Star Wars RPG with friends because that's what it is. And you even get to have your friends, you know, chat with you in each quest that you pick up, getting social points and stuff. So, you know, there's tons of content in this game, and there's even more coming. Like the legacy thing, supposed to be hitting in March, I heard, and that is if you're an altaholic. I am an altaholic like crazy. And once you finish chapter one with a tune, you get to come up with a last name, a surname. And that one will transfer for all your tunes on one account. So then when that happens, you start building legacy points with your alts. And the legacy part really hasn't hit yet. They just sort of implemented it, but there's gonna be, you know, things that you can do with those legacy points. So, I mean, there's tons of stuff. Don't just come into this game 
rush to 50 and then say that there's nothing to do. Um, also don't complain about PvP on an RP server. That's really all I have to say about that. So, yeah. This is a great game and I'm having a blast and I hope you guys do too. Oh good, now we get to see these guys. Show them we had the Hulkron, sucker! You better not be wasting my time, slave. You better have the holocron. Hmm. A fake. Or stolen from the library, probably. I'll deal with you later. Now, I believe it's time for another demonstration. Gur, step forward. Yes, Overseer. Fon, kill him. With pleasure, Overseer. Really? Your lightning wasn't Let strong Let be an example to you. Fon destroyed him easily, like he will destroy all of you. Are there any other objections? No, Overseer. No objections. Now the rest of you know the next trial. Go. You, slave, stay here. Now, slave, you think yourself pretty clever getting that holocron, yep. don't you? I really am the best. You are lucky Lord Zash finds you useful. Now for your trial. The last darkest secrets of Tulak Horde are buried in his tomb. Lord Zash wants this text. But the final resting place of the dead Lord is not easily trespassed. You will not be the first to die there. I will return with the text. Do not come back here until you've gotten the text from Tulak Horde's tomb. Out of my sight, slave. More later, guys. Happy gaming.